Don't let the blue screen of death get you down. I will show you how to fix this problem step by step. So let's begin. Click on advanced options. Select troubleshoot. Then click on advanced options. Now select command prompt. Now execute this command carefully. Type chkdsk slash f slash r c colon and hit enter to execute this command now we need to type this command c colon and simply press enter then type cd space c colon slash and hit enter type in cd space windows and press enter then type cd space system32 and hit enter to execute the command type in cd space config and simply hit enter to execute the command then type md space backup and hit enter now execute this command type copy space star dot star space backup and simply hit enter now execute the command md space back backup one and simply hit enter now type copy star dot star backup one and simply hit enter to execute the command type in cd space regback and hit enter to execute the command now type dir and then simply hit enter to execute the command now type copy space star dot star space dot dot and hit enter then type all and hit enter to execute the command type in bootrec space slash fix mbr and hit enter to execute the command type bootrec space slash fix boot and hit enter now execute this command cd space c colon slash now execute this command type cd space windows slash system32 slash config slash regback then simply hit enter to execute this command type bcd edit space slash export space c colon slash bcd back backup and simply hit enter to execute this command type cd space c colon slash and hit enter now type this md space boot and hit enter now execute this command type cd space boot and simply hit enter now type md space bcd and hit enter type cd space c colon slash and hit enter now execute this command type attrib space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space dash h space dash r space dash s and simply hit enter now type run space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot old then hit enter type bootrec space slash rebuild bcd and hit enter now type exit and simply hit enter now click on continue it will restart your system so that's it guys your problem is solved and you are good to go